Hello, today we're at Epcot visiting the 2023 Food and Wine Festival. Want to take you to see some of the festival merchandise and sample some great food items. Well, let's get started. I arrived at the park on opening day around 8 a.m. So you're able to go through security and scan your card. The park opens at 9 a.m., but the festival food doesn't open till 11. The festival started today on July 27th, and it goes through November 18th. It's the first day of the Food and Wine Festival here at Epcot. I'm gonna go inside Creations, and I'm gonna check out the new Food and Wine merchandise. So when I was heading into the park for the rope drop, I couldn't really tell if everybody was running towards the merchandise or running towards the rides. I actually like these retro looking food and wine lounge flies. I haven't got a new lounge fly in a while and I'm thinking about picking that one up. These are like the cutest food and wine tote bags ever. I like the deep color purple, but that one will set you back $298. You will also see matching ears with the lounge flies. And over here you'll find some kind of blanket with like a case. I open it up and there's a blanket inside. I already have way too many cups in my house, but this cup is adorable. And this cup will only set you back $29.99. And they have really stocked up on the cup designs for this year's Food and Wine Festival. And this little guy over here is just so adorable. And they also have these blue cute Tupperware containers. But if you open up inside of them, they're just empty. I came so close to buying this shirt. It's so adorable. I love it. I just don't know that I will continue to wear the yellow. So I'm definitely picking up this shirt so I can continue the rest of the video while wearing it. It has a sticker. Each item is unique. Looks like a handmade item. So it is almost 11 o'clock, so I'm going to head over to my first festival booth and just give some food a try. And the food and wine festival has began. So I'm going to try the corned beef and I'm going to try the Zinfandel. So from our first booth, it's gonna be the flavors from fire. I got the smoked corned beef and I got the California Zinfandel. If you take a look at the festival map and you take a look at the corned beef, and then you take a look at the corned beef here. A little disappointed. I think the presentation kind of looks a little off, but we're going to give it a try and see what it tastes like. The smoked corned beef has house-made potato chips, cheese curd, pickled onions, and beer cheese fondue. See that chip? I got a lot of cheese curd on there. So I'm going to give that a try. Well, I didn't like the presentation too much. The entree is amazing and it tastes really fresh. Of course, it's the first hour of the first day of the food festival. So, of course, it's going to be very fresh at the, from the beginning. I'm not a big onion person, so I'm going to check out these uh, pickled onions and see what I think. I think I definitely like pickled onions better than I do, like raw onions or just regular grilled onions. I have to be in the mood for onions because... They don't always pair well with the food that I'm eating. One more good sip of this amazing Zinfandel. I was told that the prices were going up on festival food items. I got all this for like 13 bucks and I think I used to be able to get it for like 11. I highly recommend you trying out the Zinfandel and the smoked corned beef from the Flavors of Fire. So here's my final review from the Flavors from Fire. The smoked corned beef was amazing. While it didn't look like the pitcher, presentation wasn't really there. The freshness, the ingredients, and just the overall taste was there. And it paired pretty good with that Californian Zinfandel. The staff was very friendly. 
very quick and amazing. They were very knowledgeable about the food. But it was really cool to go through my first line and I really enjoyed the food. Hey friends, we're about to go over to the Brewing Lab over at the Odyssey. But first I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this, more Disney videos, more cruise videos, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you can be notified for future videos. Also, if you really like this video, give it a like and leave a comment below. This year they rethemed the Odyssey Pavilion into the Brew Wing Lab, featuring Bunsen and Beaker from the Muppets. With the new theme at the Odyssey, it sure was so busy. In previous years, you could always get beer and wings here, but I wonder what the f new flavors were going to be. This is my third year coming to Food and Wine on opening day, and I have never seen it this busy before. Seems like the Muppets theme was a big hit. Who would ever think that they would theme the Odyssey to Muppets for food and wine and you would get all these people coming in. But enough of all that. I got the orange cardamom wings and I got the frozen fusion. I love this little glass and the presentation of the, so the frozen fusion has pomegranate and raspberry herbal tea fused with orange ice cream and molecules. It's a non-alcoholic drink. So all ages can drink it. I love the little candy straw. Let me see what the orange cardamom wings are about. It's kind of like an orange chicken flavor. Very sweet. No tartness, no sourness. Looks like I got all drums too. So this fusion's pretty interesting. It looks like there's like nerds on top. It's just really hard to drink. It's really solid. It's actually not a candy straw, it's a paper straw but it looks like a candy cane. I think orange cardamom and this red fusion kind of goes together. They're both sweet and no sourness. So they have a pickle milkshake and peanut butter and jelly sticky wings. That sounds really interesting. I just don't think I'm ready for that yet. What about you? Would you try peanut butter and jelly sticky wings or pickle milkshakes? Let me know in the comments below. So the crowds were massive coming in here to the Odyssey for the new themed Muppets um, food booth. Um, thoughts on the Brewing Lab. It's really interesting. I've never seen the crowds be this big. This year they themed it to like a Muppets like laboratory kind of thing. They had lots of interesting wings. The cardamom wings that I got were really sticky, really sweet. I'm more of a spicy kind of person, but they were really good. I got all drums, which is something I do prefer over flats. And then the frozen fusion was kind of hard and sticky. It's kind of hard to get the drink out, but it was actually really tasty. Um, I had a great time here today at, at Epcot at the Food and Wine Festival. I got to meet a lot of vloggers that I watch personally on TV. Um, I actually kind of was watching earlier and I got to be on some of their shows in the background. So my second stop was the fry basket. They have a fry flight for like six or seven dollars. They got the sea salt with malt and vinegar fries. You have the bacon with smoked aloe. And then we have the sweet potato casserole fries. So I'm not a big sweet potato fan, but I'm gonna try it out for the sake of the video. So here is the sea salt and malt vinegar. This would be ultimately my favorite flavor. You guys had a really good time watching my video today i had a lot of fun making it it's fun opening up the 2023 food and wine festival at epcot i got to see some of my favorite vloggers I'm gonna go home and make a video before they get theirs up a shout out to the tim tracker it was really good to meet you i really want to try to get back out here to the food and wine festival and review more food for you guys walk around maybe catch a couple rides 
But for now, I must go and edit my video. And don't forget, if you haven't liked this video or subscribed to my channel, please do so. It really helps me out. I have a really small channel and I'm trying to build it up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.